Good day everyone, this is me again, teacher R, and welcome back to my channel. So for this morning, we are going to discuss the composition of functions. Alright, the composite function denoted by F, denoted by F, composed with G, again, this is read as F composed with G is defined by F composed with G with a function of X. Well, they are just the same. If you can see this two form, something like this, F composed with G, F composed with G, they are just the same. Okay, the composite of functions. To understand this more, let's try to explore this topic using an example. Or by answering an example. Okay, example. Given f composed with x, or f of x is equal to 4x minus 5, and g of x is equal to x squared plus 4, find a, which is the f composed with g, and find b, g composed with f. Okay, in this lesson class, a and b, they are not, they are not the same. Okay, remember, they are not the same. Because the result of this two is not also the same. Let us always remember that in the composition of functions, kung sino yung nauna, siya yung papasukan. At kung sino naman yung nahuli, siya yung papasok. Again, let me repeat. Kung sino yung nauna, dito, sa F, sa A, focus on letter A. F yung nauna. So meaning, sa F yung papasukan. Since G yung pangalawa, ay yung nahuli, siya yung papasok kay F. Kaya nga, we have two different equations here. We have equation for G of X and we are equation for F of X. Again, kung sino yung nauna, siya yung papasukan. At kung sino yung pangalawa, siya yung papasok. So let's, uh, let's try to solve this example A. A. F composed with G. Okay. Sino yung nauna? Si F yung nauna. So, in the, in the composition of functions, we simply copy we simply copy the formula of X or the function of X. The function of F, I mean. We simply copy the function of F. So, 4 X minus 5. Bakit si 4 X minus 5? Kasi si F yung nauna sa letter A. F composed with G. Ayan, si G yung pangalawa. Si G yung nahuli. So, ano yung nahuli? Kung sino yung nahuli, kung sino yung pangalawa, siya yung papasok kay F. Sa pagpasok naman, we simply substitute X. Ayan, we simply substitute X. Palitan lang natin si X kay G para maipasok natin si G kay F. Ipasok natin si G kay F kasi si F yung papasokan kay G. So, ano yung gagawin natin? We simply copy the formula for the formula of F kasi siya yung papasokan. Anong gagawin kay X? Itong X naman, palitan lang natin sa formula ni G. So, X, substitute the value of X to the function of G. So, this is X squared plus 4 minus 5. Okay. In the substitution naman, we don't need to change anything from the equation of F. We simply substitute the value of X to the function of G. Yan. Pagkita na 4, X, ito yung X natin. Ito yung X natin, si G. Kasi si G yung papasok kay F. Tapos copy minus copy 5. So let's simplify so, in simplifying, we have, since we have the parentheses here, apply the distributive property. We simply substitute this 4 to x squared and 4 to 4. So, 4 times x squared, this is 4x squared. 4 plus 4, this is 16. And copy the minus 5. Okay, anong ginawa natin? We simply distribute f to the parentheses. So, f times x squared, this is 4x squared. And 4 times 4, that is 16. And copy minus and 5. Bakit hindi i-distribute si 4 kay negative 5? It's because negative 5 ay hindi napasok sa loob ng parentheses. Only x squared and 
4. So now, in this equation, we have what we call as combining like terms. Combine like terms. Always remember, plus, that we can only combine like terms if and only if they are similar terms or they are like terms. When we say like terms, they have the same variable and the same exponent. Example, 2x squared plus 3x squared. Can we combine these two? Yes, we can combine because they are similar terms. 2x squared, they have the same variable na x and they have the same variable na square. So we can simply add this is 5x squared. Again, let me repeat. We can only combine like terms if they are similar terms, if they are like terms. Same as the principle of love. Diba? Combining like terms. We can only combine if they are like terms. Kaya, huwag mong ipilit ang sarili mo sa mga taong ayaw sa iyo. Huwag mong ipagsisiksikan ang sarili mo sa taong hindi ka gusto. Bakit? Masasaktan ka lang. Diba? Ika nga. We can only combine like terms if and only if they are similar terms or they are like terms. So again, wag mong ipilit ang sarili mo sa taong ayaw sa iyo. Kasi masasaktan ka lang. Okay. So looking back to this example, which of these terms are having similar terms? Saan ba ito yung magkipwede natin i-combine? Si x squared, wala. Kasi wala ng same variable. So we simply cap with the 4x squared. What about 16 and negative 5? Okay. They are like terms. We can combine these because they don't have this, they don't have variables and they don't have exponent in the variable. So we can simply simplify 16 minus 5, that is 11. So plus 11. Therefore, our F composed with G is equal to 4x squared plus 11. So this is our result for letter A. So let's proceed for letter B. What about letter B? Ba naman? Si G composed with F. Yan. G composed with F. Sino yung nauna? Si G. So sa letter B naman, si, si G naman ang papasukan. Tapos sa F naman ang papasok kay G. Kasi si F yung nahuli at saka si G yung nauna. So in the first step, we simply copy the equation of G kasi siya yung nauna o siya yung papasukan. So copy natin si x squared plus 4. Yan. Kasi si G, x squared plus 4 yung G natin, G yung nauna, copy natin si G, x squared plus 4. Ayan, ang sarap. Ipasok na natin si F kay G. Diba? Ipasok na natin si F kay G. Paano po natin ipasok si F kay G? Ayan. We simply substitute ito. Itong si X na to, palitan lang natin sa formula ni F. Anong formula ni F? Ito yung formula ni F. Ayan. C4X minus 5. So, let's go. Therefore, anong mangyari? X. Palitan natin si X sa formula ni F. Anong formula ni F? 4X minus 5. Do not change anything from the equation of G. So, copy square, copy plus, and copy 4. Ayan. X squared plus 4. X squared plus 4. Kasi yung X natin sino? Ito yung C? F. So, let's simplify. Let's have a review. When we say 3 squared, it is not 3 times 2, right? This is 3 times 3, which is equal to 9. Same as 4 squared is equal to 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So same with the algebra. 4x minus 5, the quantity of 4x minus 5 raised to the power of 2, we also have to multiply 4x minus 5 to, it, to itself. So what will happen? So 4x minus 5 times 4x minus 5, yan, copy plus, copy 4. Kasi same as this, 3 squared, 3 times 3, right? Plus 9. 
4 squared, 4 times 4 equals 16. So same as here, the quantity of 4x minus 5 squared is equal to 4x minus 5 times 4x minus 5. Copy plus, copy 4. So in simplifying this one, go back to our basic knowledge in algebra, we have to use the FOIL method. We have to use the FOIL method. So let's go. We have 4x times 4x. That is 16x squared. 4 times 4 is 16. x times x. If we are going to multiply variables, the same variables, we simply add their exponent. And exponent the x dito, 1. And you exponent the x dito, 1. So copy x, 1 plus 1 is 2. That is why we have 16x squared. 4 times 4 is 16. x times x is equal to x squared kasi nga one exponent na x dito another one exponent for x so that's 1 plus 1 that is 2 so let's proceed 4x 4x minus 4x times negative 5 that is negative times positive so negative negative 20x and dito naman inner naman negative 5 times positive 4x that is negative times positive, that is 20. Negative 20x and negative 5 times negative 5. Again, if we are going to multiply numbers with the same sign, the result is positive. Negative times negative is positive. So negative 5 times negative 5 is equal to positive 25. Ayan, ito pala yung nagalaw natin. Do not change anything from the equation kapag hindi mo pa nagamit. Huwag mo nang ibigay sa barkada kapag hindi mo pa nagamit. Kapag, kapag nagamit na, saka mo na siya aalisin. Since positive at saka si 4 hindi pa natin nagamit, we have to copy plus and we have to copy 4. Now, this time, sabi ko kanina, we have to look for the terms that are having similar terms. We have to combine like terms. Again, ano yung kung... When can we combine like terms? We can only combine like terms if and only if the terms are having the same variable and exponent. So, saan dito yung pwede natin i-combine? Si negative 20x at negative 20x kasi they are similar. They can be combined. They are like terms. Nagmamahalan silang dalawa. They attract with each other. So, pwede silang ma-combine. So, negative 20 and negative 20, may utang kang 20. Umutang ka rin ng 20. Magkano utang mo? Ilan ang utang mo? So, negative 40. So, 16x squared. May similar term ba siya dito? Wala. Kapag wala, simply copy. 16x squared. Again, negative 20x minus negative 20x. We can combine this because they are having similar terms. Si x. So, negative 20 and negative 20. This is negative 40. Then, simply copy x. Then, 25 plus 4. Of course, we can combine these two numbers. So, 25 plus 4, that is 29. Bakit naging 40x, negative 40x to? Kasi, kinukombine natin si negative 20x sa ka negative 20x. Again, let me repeat. We can only combine like terms if and only if they are having similar terms or they are like terms. Again, wag mong ipilit ang sarili mo sa taong ayaw sa iyo. Kapag iniwan ka na, wag mo nang habulin. Wag mo nang ipagsisiksikan ang sarili mo sa taong ayaw sa iyo kasi masasaktan ka lang. So, our G composed with F is equal to 16x squared minus 40x plus 29. We cannot combine this because they are not like terms. X, yes, they, have the, they are having the same variable, but they don't have the same exponent. Exponent dito ni x is 2. Exponent ni x dito is 1. They cannot be combined kasi hindi sila nagmamahalan. They are not like terms. Again, wag mong ipagsisiksikan ang sarili mo sa taong ayaw sa iyo. Same with 16x squared and negative 40x. Wag mo silang i-combine kasi hindi sila pareha. Hindi sila like terms. So this is our final result for the G composed with F. Compare the two, di ba? They are not the same. Sa letter A, 
F composed with G, si F yung papasukan, si G yung papasok, kasi si F yung nauna, si G yung pangalawa. Sa letter B naman, G composed with F, si G yung papasukan, kasi siya yung nauna, at saka si F yung papasok kay G, kasi siya yung nahuli. Okay, let's discuss another example of composition of functions. Start. If f of x is equal to 3x plus 2 and g of x is equal to 2x minus 1, find f composed with g with a function of 2 and find g composed with f with a function of 3. Okay? Do not be confused with these two because they are just the same the, in presenting the composition. Diba kanina, I discussed the two ways of presenting the composition. F composed with G, pwede ganito. And pwede po G composed with F. Okay? So, and also may variable na tayo, may value of X na tayo, 2 and 3. So, this is just a combination of evaluation of functions. First, you have to apply the composition first, yung pasok-pasukan. Pasok, sinong papasok, sinong papasukan. After that, you have to substitute the value of x. Or you have to evaluate using the value of x. Looking back to our previous lesson, the evaluation of function. Okay, so letter A. Let's discuss. F composed with G. Sino yung nauna? Yes, F yung nauna. So, siya yung papasukan. F composed with G, the function of 2. Sino yung F? F yung nauna, siya yung papasukan. So, copy natin yung formula ni F na 3x plus 2. Ayan. Next, anong gagawin? Si G yung pangalawa, siya yung papasok kay F. Si G yung papasok kay F, anong gagawin sa pagpasok? We simply copy the equation and substitute the value of X to the function of G. So, palitan natin si x. Ano yung g natin? Magiging 2x minus 1. 3x copy plus and copy 2. Okay. So, let us simplify using the distributive property. So, 3 times 2x. 3 times 2x, that is 6x. And 3 times negative 1, that is negative 3. Positive times negative, that is negative 3 times 1, that is 3. So, again, positive 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Nasa si plus 2. Hindi pa nagamit si positive 2. So, we simply copy the positive 2. Then, combine like terms. So, anong mangyari? So, 6x. Wala siyang like terms. Wala siyang similar terms. So, copy lang si 6x. Negative 3 plus 2. In simplifying two integers with different signs, we simply copy the sign of the bigger number. Sino yung mas malaki? Si 2 sa kasi 3? Si 2 or si 3? Siyempre, mas malaki si 3, copy natin si sign na negative. Bakit negative? Kasi si 3 yung mas malaki. Copy the sign of the bigger number. 3 minus 2 is 1. Therefore, our f composed with g of x is 6x minus 1. Paano naman to si 2? Ito na, evaluation of function. Again, therefore, or f composed with g, 2 is equal to 6x minus 1. We are not yet done, kasi may 2 naman. So therefore, our x is equal to 2. Again, evaluation of function, substitute the value of x to the equation. So f composed with g is equal to, copy 6, Anong gagawin kay x? Evaluation of function. Can you recall the evaluation of function? Substitute the value of x to 2. So, then copy 1. 6x minus 1, 6x minus 1. Our x is 2. Substitute the value of 2. So, what will happen? 6 times 2 is 12. Copy negative 1. So, therefore, our function of f composed with g in a function of 2 is equal to 12 minus 1. 11. So again, this is the combination of composition of functions and evaluation of functions. Kapag walang binigay si x, if walang variable, walang value si x, hanggang dito lang tayo. 
Hanggang dyan lang yung formula ng composition. Since may value sa x na 2, so we have to substitute the value of 2 to the equation. What about letter B? Sinil na una, G composed with F. Si G yung nauna, ibig sabihin si G yung papasukan, si F yung pangalawa, si meaning si F yung papasok kay G. So, copy natin si Copy natin si G kasi siya yung papasukan. Ayong G natin, G natin is 2x minus 1. 2x minus 1. So, sinong papasok kay G? Papasok si F kasi pangalawa si F. So, anong gagawin sa pagpasok? Palitan lang natin si X dito. Copy 2. Ano yung X natin? Palitan natin si X ng formula ni F. Kasi si F yung papasok kay G. Ano yung F natin? Our F is 3x plus 2. Then, yan. 2x may copy, negative 1. 2x minus 1, 2x minus 1. We substitute the value of x to the formula of f. Yan. Okay? So, what will happen next? Same process with the previous example. Substitute, uh, distribute, I mean. 2 times 3x, that is 6x. 2 times 2, positive 2 times positive, that is positive 4. Then copy, negative 1. So, combine like terms. So, we can combine for a negative 1. We can only copy, we only have to copy the 6x. So, our G composed with F is equal to copy 6x because we cannot combine 6x to 4 and negative 1 because they are not like terms. So, 4 minus 1, again, if we are simplifying two integers with different signs, copy the sign of a bigger number. Ano yung sign ng... Sino mas malaki? Si 4 si 1? Mas malaki si 4. Ano yung sign ni 4? Positive. So, copy. Positive. Proceed to multiplication. For, uh, proceed to subtraction. I mean, again, let me correct. Proceed to subtraction. Copy the sign of the bigger number. Positive. Proceed to subtraction. 4 minus 1, that is 3. Same as here. Negative 3 plus 1. Copy the sign of a bigger number. Mas malaki si 3. Ang sign ni 3 is negative. So, copy negative. Proceed to subtraction. 3 minus 2 is 1. So, that is why I have negative 1 here. So, therefore, our G composed with F if is 6x plus 3. Question, are we done? Not yet. Because we have the value of X here. 3, di ba? So, our X is... Three. Anong gagawin? We have to substitute the value of x to the equation. So, anong mangyari? G composed with f in a function of 3 is equal to 6. Substitute the value of x. Palitan lang natin si x. It will become 3 plus 3. So, anong mangyari? G times 6 times 3. This is 18. Copy plus 3. Therefore, our G composed with F with a function of 3 is equal to 18 plus 3, that is 21. So this is our final result. Please do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel, Teacher R, for more math video tutorials to come. So again, don't be confused with this lesson. This is just a combination of composition and evaluation. Iko-compose natin yung formula first. After that, substitute natin si x. Evaluate natin yung variable value ni x. Thank you so much and may God bless us all.